Here's a take on the classic coleslaw that has a combination of cabbage and carrot. This one has some cauliflower and fennel instead. And I want to make it a whole meal in itself and that's why I'm going to be adding some tuna. So into the bowl we want to make our dressing first. A generous spoonful of natural yoghurt, you could also use a Greek style yoghurt. One to two tablespoons. I like my coleslaw dressing to have yoghurt in it because it really lightens it up and it's got that slight tang. I'm not adding any sour cream today but I will be adding some mayonnaise, so some good quality whole egg mayonnaise. To this we need some sweetness, so some maple syrup. And for the acidity, some apple cider vinegar. Always with your dressings you need to season it, so a pinch of salt and if you like you can add some pepper. We'll give that a mix. And I'm making my dressing in this large bowl because I'm going to add the layers of the salad into the bowl and then combine it at the end. So dressing done, I'm going to have a little taste just to make sure it's balanced. Ooh, I love homemade coleslaw dressing. That's essentially all you need to make it. So on with our cauliflower, beautiful fresh head of cauliflower. I only need about half of this. And what I'm trying to do is crumble it or slice it as thin as I can get it. I'm not cooking this cauliflower, I'm gonna keep it raw. So you don't want big, big chunks of it. You want it to be really, really fine. So it's gonna be crunchy and it's not going to be overpowering in this dish. So we'll need about a half of this head and stalks and all full of flavour. And isn't it pretty? I just love thinly sliced cauliflower. Now we want to add this to the dressing first and the reason I do that is just to soften it slightly so it can sit in that delicious bath of coleslaw dressing. So sprinkle that in. Two big handfuls. To this we'll add our fennel. I love the taste of aniseed. This is crunchy, it's fresh and it's so good for you. We'll use the whole lot. We want a mild onion flavour, so I'm going to use some spring onions and I love to just pop them in some cold icy water and by doing that you can see that they start to curl up slightly and they stay really crisp. Sprinkle that in. And some tuna. Now I'm using some tuna in spring water. I've drained it off and we can add that. Make sure it's nicely flaked. About 185 grams is what you'll need for this recipe. To this we need some crunch, so some almonds. I've just toasted off some almonds. You can chop them up if you like. And for a pop of sweetness, some currants. Now, you can just add them as is, or what I recommend, just so they're not too chewy, just pop them in some boiling water for about five to 10 minutes, drain them off, and they're much softer. So a generous spoonful into the bowl. And some parsley. So parsley stalks, we'll just remove the base of it, but we will add some of it. So just finely chop the stalks down the base because there's just loads of flavour in it. And then once we start getting up to the leaves, scrunch it together and the leaves, they can just be roughly chopped. They don't have to be fine at all. So just run your knife through it a few times. Great. And in it goes. So this salad is packed full of nutrients. We just need to fold everything together. And look at that snow white colour of that dressing and the cauliflower and fennel, just fantastic. I got inspiration for this recipe from a fish and chip shop of all places. This was a side dish and it was absolutely beautiful. They didn't have the tuna in it, but I thought it was a fantastic addition. Okay, let's plate this up. Generous sharing bowl. And we'll add our tuna coleslaw. Pile that up. And just like any slaw, you can make it about an hour in advance. No more than that because you do want to keep the crunch there. Last spoonful. There we go. That is a gorgeous salad. It looks really creamy and naughty, but this is wholesome, healthy salads. That with some crusty bread, delicious.